Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you my build for the upcoming Phase 4 for Shadow Priest and World of Warcraft Season of Discovery. I did some testing on the PTR and the last patch got us some really great upgrades for our playstyle. So I want to share my insights with you about runes, talents and our rotation as well as our position on the damage meters. Let's start with runes. For PvE, we go 5 points in the spirit tab to increase our mana regeneration between mobs, 3 points in shadow affinity to reduce our threat, 2 points to improve shadow ward pain, 5 points into shadow focus to reduce the target's resistance chance, 4 points into improved mind blast, 1 point to mind flay, 3 points into shadow reach to increase the range of our spells, 5 points into shadow weaving to increase our damage, Vampiric Embrace, of course, and we improve this to increase our healing. 5 points into Darkness and 1 point into Shadow Fall. Now we move to the Discipline Tree. We put 5 points into Unbreakable Will. Wands specialization is not necessary anymore. We won't be using Wands. Uh, we are not forced to because our mana regeneration is good enough in raids. This increases our chance to resist the Unfear and Silence effects, which is really good in raids, especially in Molten Core because those are the core mechanics there. We go 2 points to improve power and fortitude. Every raid will love you for this, especially your holy and disc priests if you can support them. 3 points to improve power and shield. 3 points into meditation. This allows 15% of our mana regeneration to continue while casting. And 1 point into inner focus. This also helps with our mana management. So this is our PvE talent tree. For runes. We go Pain and Suffering. This got buffed on the PTR. I will show you later on how good this is now. Because Mind Blast and Mind Flay now refreshes the duration of our dots. Which is insanely good. Because as long as we are casting Mind Blasts, our dots will never run out now. Also Vampiric Touch, which is our back rune. Now we'll also apply Vampiric Embrace when we refresh it with Pain and Suffering. So we don't have to press Vampiric Embrace anymore. On chest, we go Twisted Fate. Mind Flay and Mind Blast deals 50% increased damage to targets afflicted with our Shadow Ward Pain. On wrist, we go Despair for boss fights and we can swap to Void Zone for AoE situations. On hands, we go Shadow Ward Death, same as before. On AoE situations, we can swap to Mind Seer and this for boss fights. On waist, we go Mind Spike. This is one of our best damage spells now because we will press it a lot more than before. On legs, we go Homuncoli. You can also go Share Chain for AoE situations, but Homuncoli will be our main rune here. On feet, we go White Black. This got moved to the feet slot now. And on ring, obviously, we go Shadow Spec to increase our hit rating. And on the second ring, we go Holy Spec if we have to off heal. And also, our two set bonus allows us to use Flash Heal and Shadow Form. So, this will be our second ring. Alright, for PvP. We go 5 points into Blackout to have a 10% chance to stun a target. 2 points into Improved Shadow World Pain. 3 points into Shadow Focus. Then we go 2 points into Improved Psychic Scream. 4 points into Mind Blast. Shadow Reach. Shadow Weaving. Vampiric Embrace. Darkness. Silence. And Shadow Form. And we also take Mind Flay. Then we go 5 points into Unbreakable Will. 2 points into improved power at fortitude, 3 points into improved shield. We go 2 points into martyrdom, this allows us to remain casting when we get hit. And same as before, this root. So this will be our PvP talent tree. For runes it's the same as before, pain and suffering, vampiric touch, twisted faith, despair, shadow of death, mind spike, homuncoli, we go Dispersion on Feed Rune, Shadow Spec and Holy Spec. How this looks on the damage meters, I will show you now. As you can see, you activate Vampiric Touch, White Plague, Shadow Ward Pain and Homuncoli, and then you can go into Mind Blast, Mind Spike and Shadow Ward Death. The DPS is really good right now. You can simply focus on pressing your buttons, Mind Blast, does a lot of damage now and you don't have to refresh your dots anymore. So this is a really really good playstyle and the DPS is also really fine. 
If you look at the damage meter, there were a lot of shadow priests here, which all hovered around 1.7k to 1.8k DPS. On top of that, we got our support with healing and mana regeneration, so shadow priests will be really really viable in the upcoming phase 4. If you found this useful, consider to like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft Season of Discovery content.